Fall Will Be Coming Around the Mountain is the last episode in the Looney Tunes Webtoons Toon Maroon series. And this has been a pretty fun journey, but I wasn't that excited about this finale. I was keen to see who would win, but I'm not happy, as I mentioned in my previous discussion, I'm not happy with the final two contestants. And I will discuss what I mean by that in a moment. But in general, it played out okay, but I feel like it could have been better. I don't think they focused on the right things, but it wasn't too bad. So I'm going to say spoilers from now as I discuss the finale and talk about things that I thought were done well and things that I maybe didn't like. So there will be spoilers from now for this episode and, of course, previous episodes. So the two final contestants are Daffy and Tweety. And the reason why I don't love this is because I feel like Tweety shouldn't win. Tweety can fly, Tweety's got an unfair advantage in a lot of cases, and I feel like Tweety also wasn't really the focus of a lot of the first few episodes, so he kind of slipped under the radar without anybody really paying attention to him. And I just don't think he would deserve to win. And I also don't want Daffy to win, because I think that that would be far too obvious. So whoever wins, I'm probably, I wouldn't be happy. But I will talk about who wins in a moment. And they have to race to the top of this mountain. And whoever touches the idol first wins. And that's a pretty decent challenge. My first thought was, well, Tweety can just fly up. But they do actually have to take on small challenges as they go up. And this is where I think the pacing wasn't great. Because we barely got to see any of the challenges. And something happens at the very end that I think was not necessary. And we could have used that time to show us more challenges for them to get a little bit more creative with this race to the top and also keep the suspense going for a little bit longer. So I didn't mind what we saw as they raced to the top, but they could have done more and it could have been more creative. And then the person who wins is Tweety. And I kind of figured it would be because, as I said, I feel like Daffy would have been too obvious for me. And Tweety winning, I don't love either. I actually feel like Sylvester should have won. Sylvester went out third, and I would have been really happy with that. I think it would have made a lot more sense. But nevertheless, this is the direction they took. I don't love it, but I'll make my peace with it. And then Daffy touches the idol, and this idol manifests and gets annoyed at Daffy. And it was just... They're, they're obviously going at some kind of humour with that and to make Daffy look like an idiot for what he did. But as I said, I feel like they could have kept the suspense going a little bit longer and instead used that time to show us more creative challenges as they went up the mountain. So that wasn't great. But what I did love at the very end, and I wish this was something that came into fruition, but we got to see the second group of contestants and... The group of contestants look amazing. We have Miss Prissy and Speedy Gonzalez and uh, Marvin the Martian and Beaky Buzzard, Witch Hazel, a Barnyard Dog, a couple of others. And it would have been really fun to see them competing and I would have been quite keen to see that. But nevertheless, I don't know if they ever planned to do that or if this was just a, a little thing they decided to include as well. But nevertheless, I did enjoy Toon Marooned. I thought this was a really fun little series. And it's taken me, I've done one episode a week, so it has taken me nearly three months to watch all of it. And it's been, it's been a lovely journey. It's not necessarily gone the way I would have wanted it to go. But I can't complain too much. Ultimately, I still had fun with it. Falby Coming Down the Mountain is not a bad episode either. It worked well enough. Yes, it didn't go the way I wanted, but it was okay. It wasn't bad, and if you haven't seen the series, well, I apologise, I guess, for spoiling it now. But either way, if you're a fan of Looney Tunes characters, it's still worth checking out. I definitely had fun with it. <laughs> 